Hello, welcome back. So, did we kill enough people to scare away the legion? Eh, probably. By the way, we are just showing that the soldiers are just as ruthless as the legion itself. Now, I did a lot of mistakes when I played this mission, so you just have to, you know, conquer the first locations and then go through here, get the prison and just continue over here. As you can see, I basically put all of my trucks over here and they were shooting all of the buildings without any problems. Because these buildings couldn't shoot back, so yeah, it's just better to kind of play it in... Let's imagine this is an L shape, and your units will travel from this part over here, to here and here. And also, if you didn't upload the virus in the integrator camp, I'm not sure what happens if you, if you upload it, but then you have the possibility of capturing this integrator save technically. You just have to fire a couple of times on it and it will catch fire and then you can capture it. So, I actually captured it, but I want to show you, yeah... What happens after the autosave because we have a lot of management to do to be honest the next level of management might be so big that you'll be able to probably finish the next mission with the bridge at the same time you finish the management so yeah basically 30 minutes of management that the founders command frequency must be something important if they're boosting the signal enough for us to pick it up this far out. We already have a mission, Sergeant. Remember? <sighs> you mean running errands for these movement civilians? We're founders, sir. We should be taking the war to the wireheads. We That's will what do it. Stevens ordered us to do. Stevens left me in charge here, Sergeant. Not we will do it. Don't worry. On behalf of the movement, I want to thank you for everything you've done in New Tor. Thank you. Now, uh, I'll show you the integrator heavy technical a bit later. It's not worth it. I think it's bugged. I think the developer should have added but uh, normal stats for it. This is what you'd call a nope job. So okay. what is better you here? Want supplies or goodwill credits? Well, this is a nope job because you'll be getting more goodwill credits than supplies. You can buy more supplies if you take the credits because you know the exchange rate by now. But there is a catch, you can only buy enough supplies for 3 days only, so you can get stuck with 30,000 goodwill points and enough supplies only for 3 days. Which means, you'll not be able to travel to the map, because you'll also have to resupply your ammunition, so don't take the goodwill credits, it's a nope trap. Take the supplies. Supplies. We need him to- Great. You ready to go? Yes. No infiltration work this time. We need a small advance force to go in and- Movement can't do that. We could, but this really needs some professionals. Ain't that the truth. Stay here and do what you want. Remember that crazy deserter flinch? Also got flinch as a squad. He was captured with another founder who said he'd escaped from a leak. We need to find this other founder prisoner. Only thing we know about him was that he was at the integrator camp of flinch. Movement people told me where the camp is and marked it on the map. Would be a good... Yeah. Now we have to go over there as well. As you can see, we're skipping many locations. So I think the developers that made this a little better. Now, as for the management, I will do it as fast as possible because I already did that three times. So first of all, the heavy technical. As you can see, it's not really worth keeping because it's 10,000 fuel. I think this should be about 1,000 or maybe 2,000 fuel. The gun on this thing is very, very good, but it's not worth it. What you can see, it only has one gun instead of the normal two guns. Probably has a lot of armor and HP. It has decent speed, but you cannot upgrade it. See? You can upgrade the Bradley, you can up, you cannot upgrade this, or not even the cartel tanks, we'll have to sell them. Even though, well, I guess I shouldn't repair them, I shouldn't have repaired it, but it's a lot of points, so we'll get the points. Artillery will be keeping, the Bradley will be keeping. It's kind of like the same discussion, so look at the supply cost, so the Bradley is 4,000 and the little tanks are 3,000. The little tanks have nowhere the same amount of versatility and utility as the Bradleys. You might as well just get another Bradley if you really want it. The APC, to be honest, the APC is not that good. I wish I would have kept the striker. The striker would have been better. So if you are seeing this, keep the striker. The APC is not worth it. Well, I guess the same case can be made for the striker because they're all kind of armor vehicles, so they're in the same class. Also, you only need one dozer, so keep the dozer with the heavy armor and the speed upgrade. Don't sell the ad don't sell the good one, so sell the one that doesn't have as many upgrades. To be honest, I think I I'm not sure about the fuel and the ammunition trucks just yet. Seems like you never really got to use them. Now, as for the fuel tankers, we'll not need them. Fuel is the only thing that is relatively plentiful. This is the difference between a full supply truck and an empty one. Yeah, 
600 goodwill points, so we'll sell that. Uh, now there's a bit of a catch to this. I don't really think we need supply trucks, but I don't know. It feels like I should keep one, even though it's 800 fuel cost, which is the same as a Humvee. So it might be beneficial for our squads, because look at this. 800 fuel supply versus... 2000. No, not 2000. Where is the ammo trailer? No, this is there. Yeah. So this thing will cost you 2000 supply and it has 10,000 ammo supplies. And this thing has 6000 supply, but it's 800. So it's less than 50% of the cost, but it's 6000 supplies. I guess it's up to every player. It uh, The downside is you cannot put weapons on it. So I guess we can keep this for a mission or two to see how it is. I recommend you keep it, because mo in most cases you'll need a 4 supply, or 4 resupply. So let me see what you can give this here. Yeah, you see you can give it the engine boost, it already has the cartel armor. Now, sadly you don't have the armor values, but the difference is that steel armor is 1 plate, and cartel steel armor is 2 plates, so I guess that means you'll be doubling your armor. In practice that doesn't mean much, but... Yeah, I guess it is what it is. So we'll have the engine upgrade for this thing. I guess I'll keep it. It's just good to have around. As you can see, they give you a lot of truck up upgrades, but that is not really worth it. Okay, so let's see over here. As you can see, we have two trucks with cartel armor or three Humvees. One, two, three. I guess we can make four. <sighs> Do I want to keep a van? I guess the vans, I'm not sure what their armor value is, but as you can see, the vans don't have cartel armor, so... But they do have the extra capacity and they cost a little less and you can put the same gun on it, I don't know, it, it's up to the player. I think the cartel, I mean the vans have more HP than the Humvees, but they have less spare parts and, less and more ammunition, so again, it's kind of like choosing more repair and less ammo or more ammo and less repairs. Plus the fuel capacity anyway. In my case, I think I'll just sell it. This is the one that you get from the Furies, so I'll sell it. And I will keep five Humvees. That might be a lot, but it hey, looks cool. These are just normal trucks. I don't really like them. And you should keep all of your specialized gear. And this is Finch, the hacker squad that you get. They can lay down anti-tank mines or anti-personal mines. So they're very very good with what they can do and they can also disable they have the hacking courses but not the EMP they have the advanced smoke screen tactics so if you put them in a vehicle they can basically stop an entire army alphabet weapon squad i will only be keeping the fast or heavy weapon squad also keep the snipers we will not keep the <laughs> sharpshooters uh, someone said that it's better to keep the sharpshooters because there's no reason to keep the technicians because they're not that good in combat and you don't really need a lot of them. They only have rifles, grenades and smokes while the sharpshooters can actually kill a lot of enemies. That's true, but on the other hand, you can also get three of them. They can increase the squad by one, but on the other hand, uh, these guys can drive tanks and helicopters and at some point you'll probably lose a lot of them. And they're not so bad in combat. Let me see if we can level some of them up. So we can see what they will they would get. As you can see, the fast activity to deploy can be very good or very interesting. So at some point you need to use them in your supply trucks. Plus they have the EMP devices. Which is only for Legion. So again, it's up to everyone basic decision, but to be honest, the infantry in this game is not very good because you need to babysit all babysit it all the time so you might as well go for something that has a little more hp since you don't know the hp of the soldiers i'll just go on a whim and say that a soldier a technician has more hp than a sharpshooter because they don't seem to have any armor so sometimes the sharpshooters or the snipers can be killed by a few stray, stray bullets so again it depends on i i wish I, we had more information in this chapter in this sector so we'll be keeping these guys and we'll be, get, we'll be giving them the one extra manpower. So now they can equip free rifles. So yeah, free high power rifles would be amazing with them. So the snipers are also very, very, very hard to equip because of this thing. They can only pick up one weapon from dead soldiers. 
and the other two slots will not be filled because they can only change one weapon. Again, this is a bug that should be fixed as fast as possible. They should be able to upgrade all of their rifle slots. We will also be keeping one of these guys. I guess we'll be keeping bear squad. I recommend you, at this point of the game you keep one from each militia squad, meaning one sharpshooter, one anti-tank or RPG squad. The guerrillas I'm not sure if I want to keep, probably I'll end up keeping them. You should also keep one militia squad. Not only one, you don't need more. They are basically... also make sure you don't sell the ones that have better weapons, because some of them will have much better weapons. And of course the gangs that you defeat will give them their weapons, so yeah, this mission is one of those missions that can give you super extreme amounts of loot if you know how to play it well, and also you don't waste the loot. Ah, uh, the plasma assault rifle is not that good on them. You can also give them the armor or one extra man power, which can be devastating to the enemies. So, I think I'll just give them one extra man power. And also the armored. <laughs> so somehow, some way, this squad becomes so much more powerful. As for the heavy weapon squad, like I said, I mostly want to keep. Oh, these are the guys. Oops. Oh well. Okay, let's keep all of that stuff. No, I think we can... Eh, okay, we'll have to look at it. Bear squad. So we'll not be keeping bear squad, we'll be keeping fit squad. Melee fit squad. I, I should really re rename that. What to be smelly fit squad. Yeah, we'll only keep pastor squad. As you can see, I'm just trying to sell them so I don't have to reinforce them. And also, you don't want to waste the supplies. This is again, one extra man power. Not sure where I got that one. Anyway, I'll do all of the upgrades at the same time so it's easier for people to understand what's happening, more or less. Okay, so that's all of the stuff we'll be keeping. As you can see, I'm just keeping my Humvees because they're very good, but we need to upgrade their armor as much as we can. So at this point, all of the Humvees should have still armor at least. So if you capture Humvees in this mission, it will be much better than what you have. So you don't have to buy the armor and you don't have a lot of armors as well. This is a good way to get more more stuff. Just apply the armor on top of the other one. I guess you lose the other armor upgrade, so it's not as good as it could be. Let's also buy that. We'll probably also need to buy the chain gun. We also get a better LMG. Okay. We also have some interesting squads over here and the helicopter. And as you can see, this is the integrator. Yeah, to get our supply cost. It's much lower now. Now comes the hard part. This mission will allow you to use a lot of live vehicles and that's what we'll be doing. To be honest, the Humvees with the tow missiles are not worth it, especially in this part of the game where you don't really fight Legion armor or stuff like that, you just fight light armor like yourself. So everything, the Humvees with... Yeah. Let me search for my energy, heavy machine guns. Yeah, let's remove that and let's put the chain gun, the minigun I mean. Sadly I didn't get a mini a chain gun, you know the one with 20 mm caliber from the other mission. I think I forgot to take it. Uh, I don't know what to do with this one. I guess we'll leave it there for now. So the Humvees will be super strong. Yeah, those are the sniper rifles. Sorry, I'm not looking at what I'm doing. I just want to finish this as fast as possible. So, free Humvees will have the energy weapons. I think I can leave one with the pastor squad. Is it really, really worth it? I think it's worth it because, think about it. These guys basically have infinite ammo because they can just step inside the truck and get more ammo when they run out of ammo. As the Humvees will need to go back and resupply. So, that's a huge benefit in my opinion. So, we should allow them to do that. And the having that doesn't have armor, or the cartel armor, will get the grenade launcher. Yeah, okay, that seems decent. Five Humvees might be too much, in my opinion. It's probably too much, so we'll have to sell at least one of them. 
Yeah, let's sell this one over here. At least it only had one upgrade. The recoil rifle is nice, but not as good as it sounds on paper. So we'll only have four Humvees. Yeah, you might need more light vehicles. You'll probably get another Humvee at some point. But I'm not using it without proper armor. <laughs> Maybe we'll find the striker. Now we can afford the striker. Okay, we did all of the resupplying, and as you can see, I've upgraded some of their levels. Let's quickly mouse over these things. Oh, mounted the recoil rifle. Yeah, I guess it's a good idea to have the recoil rifle just in case something gets close to them. Everything is resupplied, everything is okay. I need to dismiss some of the, those people. Now I spend also a lot of my resources to upgrade some of the squads as well. So as you can see, this is kind of like the max upgrade I can get. Uh, probably I can buy a few more things, but it's not really worth it. Yeah, beautiful army. You know, no, it mostly depends on how well I can micromanage it. As you can see, these guys also have the best gunners now, so their vehicles will be deadly. Also, I took the liberty of giving these guys as well the best gunners for all of the guns. Even this dozer over here will be a deadly weapon. This anti-infantry is very, very, very nice. So the reason behind this is that I have the auto cannon and the recoilless rifle plus the minigun, so it should be a platform against anything that moves. Other than that, we should be okay. As for the other stuff, I don't really want it or need it. Now it's a tricky situation. As you can see, we still have some goodwill points, so we might as well buy more supplies because this is the only thing that you cannot really buy or trade for. So we have four days of supplies now, and also, like I said, this the people. Uh, in the next mission, we'll not get any squad, so I'm debating if it's better or not to throw away most of my soldiers. Actually, nah. You can probably just... Just dismiss all of them, because you'd, you'll be saving supplies and you can recruit them, so... I'll be saving how many supplies over here? Let's say 36, wow, okay, 3000. What? Wait, 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 why is it so much? It's 100 supplies, so that's 5,000 supplies. So I'll basically be saving 1,500 supplies and one one manpower is 10 supplies, so that's 100 supplies. Okay, my brain is not working with the math, but the math tells me it will be better just to recruit new people. <laughs> okay. So we're under 50,000 supplies, which is great. Okay, let's save that. Let's go to the next mission. Now you can skip the mission the way I showed you, but I want to do the mission because it's more combat hey, and more fun. You. Some settlers from the farm south of here just arrived. In Are you the one called Troublemaker? Yes. Who defeated the cartel? Yes. Near our farms, there's a bridge. The a bridge? Where? On the road to Chihuahua. They've pulled back to the city, and now they're gonna blow up all the bridges so that you can't follow them. The bridges still stand for. If they spot a large force coming, they'll just blow the bridges. This yes. is the only road. There's another one. So we got a choice. Now, I don't recommend this because you'll, you'll be skipping a mission, but it's a very short mission and you'll be skipping out on loot and some other stuff as well. Back bridge guard with a small force. Eh, it might be worth it to skip. It depends on how what the state of your army is, but you'd be losing one day of supplies, which is a lot. And that's why I prepare for we this. We can't spare the supply. Okay. Okay, this will be very very tricky and very very annoying because the enemies kind of know what you're doing at all times. Now don't rush the mission, you have about 10 minutes and you, you'll get basically your entire army at some point, so don't rush it. And you start the mission by fighting, which will be kind of hilarious once you see what we're fighting and what our soldiers will be doing against them. Okay, so I'll take these guys and the militia, just a cannon fodder. Oh, look, Hurry look up, at this. Muchachos. Those asshole gringos can't be far behind you. Update, muchacho. Those asshole gringos are already here. Run, wheel for that. No coming. Deleted. Tell us what you need. Preparing. Gotta get to the first Driver's waiting. All right. 
Humvee's back on the road. Infantry squad ready. Let's go. I'm going. Moving. Drivers reporting. All right, move. Reporting. On the move, sir. Now let me just make this. Report here. Our company. Enemy ahead. Infantry report confirmed. Drivers on route. Spotted one. Drivers. All right, moving. Enemy force. We got to find them too. Oh, they're actually holding up very nicely. Uh, I think we can save this Humvee, but it's going what to be very order? hard. Let's cancel cancel all of their attacks. What? Oh, you have to cancel the weapon Drivers on all order. of them, okay? Target destroyed. Yes, it's not Drivers perfect. On order. Humvee reporting, sir. You can capture basically every Drivers Humvee in the mission, order. but yeah, not what perfect. Enemy we'll need some wheels for that. Repairs complete. Militia here. Drive on the way. Going on route. Yes, sir. Drive on the move, sir. Did they shoot that RPG at me? How dare they? We're all your dead moving team. We are taking fire. Shoot them. Fire, fire, fire. Need support here. Oh, come on, really? This game has a lot of issues. How can they shoot me and I just click on them and they're just running towards them? Man, that's so annoying. All of them, yeah, that was super annoying. They couldn't see that Reporting. final Going. RPG trooper, and he almost killed my uh, Humvee. Lucky like for us, we have order. cartel armor. Yes, sir. Going on the way. We got the first bridge. Now let's grab the second one before they can blow it. Find somewhere to hide. Going. Okay, now we get the second phase of the mission, which just is more infantry. I guess at this point we should get our 8 gem squad, pastor, and also the snipers. Yeah, let's get the snipers in. Uh, probably the pastor will be just driving the truck. Humvee under fire. Report we're vulnerable. Tell us, let's go. Enemy force. Hit him. Ready for target. Man. Okay. Anti tank support. What are our orders, sir? On our feet. Just get over there. <laughs> we'll see what we can do after NTDM that. Squad reporting. Someone give these cartel jerks. I'm the under fire again. It's a proper soldier. What do you mean? They're a lot better quartered. I'm being reported. Yes, sir. Go what even is attacking me? Must be one of their senior commanders Already. personally directing it. Guess he'll be where all that radio traffic is coming from over there. We need to take out that you command point. You got to be point. joking me, come on. Or before our main force gets here. How do they not see them? We kill them and then... Ready to go, sir. And then they suddenly don't see them. Yeah, this is the part of the game I don't like. Well, I guess that proves the armor is not bad. Now we can also attack that house, but I don't recommend you do it. Let's just wait a bit until everyone is sealed up. Oh, yeah, they need a proper system where you know what's going on at all times. These guys will be here. The snipers. Yeah, okay, that seems decent. What do you got it? Moving there. We won't fail. Okay, let's go for the second right. bridge. But this time we'll be much better prepared. What are the orders? Moving there. 
Meaning the snipers will help us as much as they can. What? Why are they not aiming their guns at the enemies? We'll need some wheels for that. Now, boys. Oh yeah, anti-sniper warfare. On the way. This is the range of their guns anyway. Yeah, that's actually very decent. Sharpshooter team. Yeah, so I guess we can Reported. attack that Let's side move. of the map as well. Sharpshooters on a going. Got enemies near the Humvee. Spotted one. On the way. Target down. Yeah, I guess we can Report. get that one, but. On route. I'll not try to get the Humvees because they're super hard to move, keep sir. alive. The move, sir. While they're damaged like that. Okay, just take the bridge because I want more soldiers to arrive here. Yes, sir. On the move, sir. On route. We got both bridges. On the way. Got a hold of them until our reinforcements get here. Yes, sir. No, don't fall over. <laughs> Find us a target. Don't scare me like that. I thought they were going to fall off the bridge or something. We won't fail. Moving what we there. got here? Cartel supply warehouses. Whatever's in them. You know we can use it. Agreed. Going. On the move, sir. Also keep your Humvees in the middle of the map because the enemies try and capture them intact. We have surprises for you. Your call. Okay. We just like the cartel to blow up anything they know they ain't got time to take with them. A reinforcement says there's a big moving force coming to help us. Drivers, we're going. Gotta hold on until they get here. Let's try that. Drivers reporting, sir. Enemy. Enemy spotted. There are a lot of enemies over there. Now you can get your helicopter, which might help you destroy the house, but it's not really recommended to use it in combat. A combat vehicle? Yeah, let's get the good Bradley. As for the armor transport, this counts as an armor transport, both of them. As for the supply vehicle, I guess we can take this one just so we fill up all of the slots. Live vehicles, no more live vehicles. As for the other units, you definitely want these guys over here. Uh, yeah, anti-armor can help a little bit. The mercenary squad is definitely good in combat. And let's take the other snipers as well. Now, as soon as you click on that, it works. Ready to roll. Now, the I'll save over here. Oh man, that chopper is fine. Rockets are red. Incoming threat. Need support here. Uh, sure. Can you? Kill that AV before they get into the building. Incoming threat! No, you can fire on the target. Oh, okay, that was nice. Good target sighted. Helicopter, you can go Your faster than up. that. Enemies ahead. Spotted enemies from above. There's too many of them. We're here. Now, the helicopter. Oh man, the chopper does only strafing runs like this. Wait, why do you actually have some formations over here? I forgot completely about it. A wide line, a line. Those formations spread out. So spread them out all the time. Beautiful destruction. Focus on that. So the snipers can shoot at that thing. Now the Bradley is the good Bradley. Uh, I really really hope I can... Managed to put that over there. Why are you not refilled? Oh, I guess you fired something at the enemy. Okay. okay, that's good, that's good. What are the orders, sir? I don't want to say we can bomb rush them, but I think we can bomb rush them. Spotted one. Got him in our side. Good as new. Dumper has eyes on him. They're after us. Say 
one. Oh, they're not coming at us from every direction. Now, as for a squad in the APC, I guess well, we can put these kill. guys. Every direction. You guys can defend this what road over there, more or less. Now, the snipers yep. can also move a little bit Moving forward back. over here. Time to move! And the armor squad can also move over there. Uh, yeah, I guess we did that already. And where do you want us? You heard him. They must have recalled those units. Now, I think we can kill the supply. Yeah, the the pass through here on the way to Chihuahua. Damn! Enemy spotted! Spotted enemy! Well. Yeah, we just have to destroy that rock. What? You still haven't fixed your hunger? Okay, this is kind of annoying. Uh, deploy that. Ready to roll. Rockets are ready. We have enemy inside. Rockets are ready. Got company. On our way. Taking fire. Can we blast them? He went ahead. Got a fix on the enemy. Snipers. Oh. Going. Drivers are on the move, sir. APTM report. Target destroyed. We can't read him. To the bridge. Hide. What's happening over there? Okay. Keep your calm and composure. What? That thing is not smashed? Well, I guess we have to kill the commander. Moving there. What's over here? It's just a Humvee, okay. ATGM squad reporting. Uh, wow, they killed a lot. They killed even these guys. That's kind of annoying. So these guys cannot fire their weapons, so might as well put them over there. What's left over here? To, oh, that's the squad to kill. For hire. Oh, that's super hard to add. Okay, now we can advance over the bridge. Now be very, very careful because at some point you'll just get swarmed. You need, you need the big boat. Assholes are still in the fight. But they're a lot less effective now. We got Let's friendly move. reinforcements we'll incoming. Let's move. Yeah, Drug if you destroy that. those guys, you get your last reinforcement. Are you? Oh, okay, they're repairing that. Whew, okay, we really, really need these guys. So you have artillery and armor transport. So this is basically everything. You also have the tank. We already have our helicopter. As for other combat vehicles, remember, I have two Bradleys. So we'll be getting those. We can also have all of the transport ready. We cannot have those guys. Now, it's not really recommended that you bring everything. But I recommend you bring everything right now, so you don't have to think about it later. Except for these two. I don't want to, you know, mess around with that as well. Make it Drivers, make it oh, those guys got super damaged by something. Okay, this will be number three. We will be used. Oh, we lost the bridge. Uh, remember to take back the bridge so it doesn't get smashed. Repair complete. <laughs> Let's blow something up. We will. We will blow a lot of stuff up. Now, as for infantry, uh, yeah, these guys will have to board the Bradley. Okay, boss. Moving. Let's go. Damn, we're taking fire. People ready? 
Who's Four taking the fire? Yeah, I don't think that would be a problem. Bradley is loaded with infantry, yes. Where is my other uh, elite infantry? Yeah, it's in the other Bradley, okay. As for the supply truck, this is the problem. At some point, they'll just be aiming at your supply truck, so that's why I'm not so keen on bringing them in the missions themselves. What's happening? Stop shooting. There should be no targets for us over there. Anti tank support. Our feet. ATGM relocating. Anti tank support inbound. Say something when we get there. Okay. Time for a big bob to go across the bridge. Senor, hello, hello, troublemaker. I'm here. We're nearby. We ain't got. Yes, we do. A few days ago, when the cartel were sending reinforcements to stop you in New Tortuga, one of their trucks broke down on the bridge, and we stole all the weapons it was carrying. But now, they've come back for them. You mess with the cartel, steal their stuff, and now you want us to save your ass? Please, we just wanted to help. Some of the weapons we gave to people joining the uprising in New Tortuga, but others are integrator things. Mm, nice. That we don't know how to now use got my so attention. them in the basement. Please, they are yours if you want them. Tech from those integrator freaks? Okay, guess we can use that. We'll have to stop those cartel assholes blowing up the buildings those boxes are hidden in, though. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that in a second. Now, for the other side over Watch here... Something blown up? Uh, you know what? We can spur the troops to move over there. Now, let me see where the heavy weapon squad is. The way, the way I like to defend this... Well, to be honest, you don't really need the snipers here either way. Condo here. Condo is here. Those buildings don't give any cover, sadly. We won't fail. Ah, just go over there. So the second, my second Bradley will be covering the flank over here to the south. Over there, and where is my heavy weapon squad? My pastor squad. I don't see them. What do you need? Technicians here. They get destroyed or something. No. Are they driving something? They they might be driving something. And that might explain it. Might explain it. Yeah, they're in the truck over here. Ready for we got the bridge back. Let's say hello to him, fellas. Moving. I guess we can also use the tank as kind I'll of like backup there. over there. No repair that. Yeah, Big Bo can defend this area over here and he can also kind of outflank enemies if they come from there, like that. The only problem right now I have is that I cannot cover this area properly. I forgot to ah uh, yeah unbox your Got gift it. there. I probably want the guerrillas over there. Uh, yes, we should sir. probably repair that. Drivers were on the move, sir. Gentlemen, I had my tank. What is this? That unit is swarming us over there. We're going in. Four, get me. Contact. Okay, that's a lot of enemies coming for us. Yeah, the snipers are shooting. That's good. Enemies ahead. 
Rockets are ready. That area will be completely defended from enemy attacks here. Yeah. You don't really have a Rockets chance of. Ready. Oh yeah, look at this thing. Now you really have to put this on a single thing because it will shoot at everything. So I recommend you don't select it by default. Those are reporting, sir. Ready to roll. Moving there. Give us something to shoot up for. Say something when we get there. Well, now we're going to have to get this easy. Come on our way. Big fun, what? Let's just go rolling. Missile support in position. Need some armor support? Okay. You stay over here facing that direction. So this area is covered by the Bradley, the good Bradley. This is from the tank covered. Over here just have more units because I, Time to move. I'm not very confident okay, in the defensive over. capability since this is an area that will get attacked a lot of times. Now the only area I cannot really defend very Dark well is this one. So orders. no problem. Moving there. No problem. So let's just put more sharpshooters over there or whatever I have left. Let's go. Rockets are ready. Put these guys in front. Copy. Relocating. Copy that. Yeah, this will look. I'm not sure if the sharpshooters will shoot out of this thing. I guess we can try and see. So I'm not sure if they can even to fall back. shoot like that. Okay, and this is a good point where you can save and relax a little bit, but just a little bit. Okay. Let's resume. What? What killed the crew? Do I care? Not really. So. Yeah. At this point, you just have. To, I just have to use the chopper. Or additionally, I guess we can just put this on free fire mode. But it will eat your ammunition like crazy. Your supplies will be gone so fast if you do it like this. That's crazy. They actually gather so many for a single attack. Ready for target. Enemy incoming. Got one in our sight. Time to get our car. They're all over us. I'm still not convinced if the enemy, if the troops are firing out of that. Anyway, looks like we have another attack over here, and you don't have enough time to put down the mines in case you're wondering that. That's supposed to be this close to the enemy. Enemy broken. Don't you dare fire your RPGs. Well, not like they have a chance RPGs now. RPGs moved. Bad trouble coming. Rockets arrived. Rockets are ready. Okay, yeah, the artillery is just murdering everyone. Yeah, they're not damaging anything, but they're just killing my units. Very bad. And annoying. Also, I can just bring this truck over here some ammunition, so mm, that's a good idea. Let me see about that. Reporting. This is the supply trailer and this is the ammo truck. Okay, let's pack this just in case we'll need ATGM rounds. Hey, okay, Big Bob will have some work. <laughs> okay, that's what I call excessive firepower. Yeah. Oh no, don't don't sit over there. Over here next to the snipers. Okay, I think we'll be okay for now. And now we just have to wait until the timer runs out. Infantry squad ready. I guess we can do some other things in the meantime if we really, really yeah. want. Ready, holding here. We can rescue that truck over there. We can also rescue another. Yeah, I guess we can start to work like we usually do. Mission doesn't have a lot of rewards, but you can see you can get quite a All few right. of them, especially because I'm happy we got this little tank over here. 
Yeah, this is supposed to be one of those easy missions, but as you can see, even an easy mission can go very, very bad. Now, I actually reloaded the game because I was failing the mission quite badly, mostly because the enemies will spawn around the banks of this part of the map and they'll just shoot everything you have that is not protected. So I'm trying to have everything protected. Time to get our cardio in. No problem. There's no target sighted. Okay, as you can see, as soon as this enters the map, it's going to be smashed. Chopper ready. Firing on the target. Yeah, put down smoke. <laughs> target destroyed. Put. <laughs> It's excessive, but I like it. Target's in range. We steal. There's too many of them. Oh, that's just another. Oh, okay, infantry squad. Okay, let me see. Don't forget what we're supposed to be doing over here. Put we'll the truck that. over there. This truck has the people in it. Get them off us. Ready. Okay, we're on board. Yes. What are they shooting at? Oh, at the militia. See, this is why you need cannon fodder. What do you need? At this point, disable this. Yeah, the snipers are not firing from the truck. Okay. Where? Oh. Okay, now you got it, boss. Yeah, you really have to watch this so so carefully. I don't like it when they spawn off map and they just shoot. They're after our rockets. They're everywhere. You have to micromanage them so badly. It, like we can let can those guys them? leave. Chopper has eyes on them. Choppers. Whenever I hear the word chopper, I'm afraid to get smashed by something. Let's repair that. Uh, this truck over here, we need the truck to get to another Humvee and another truck. Also, we can just use this ammunition truck over here if we really, 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 really want. But I know there is no loot over here. There are just a few houses. You can also mine this part of the map, but it seems like no enemies really spawn on the south side. And the enemies that spawn will try to attack you. Yeah, good luck with that. I have a lot of luck with that. Let's move. <laughs> we'll be there. Mostly you have to worry about Got this it. side. Ready to go. I guess sir. we can even put these guys over here. We're going in. Yeah, I guess we can put them over here since they'll not be attacking much anyway. Moving. Also remember to We're spread them in. out and get moving, squad. We're going in. Moving. And sir, make yes, them go prone. Hit the deck. Yeah, they're a bit exposed, but it should be okay. So we got that truck from here. Also, we'll in the I'm not sure how you re resupply the helicopter. Helicopter. It seems like you cannot Stop do it in a mission. Got it coming. Enemy. Yeah. Unit reporting. Target inbound. Unit Good luck with that. DM Looks like this is kind of a, like redundant a little bit because they are both firing at the same time and one of these missiles is a lot of supplies, 200. On our feet. Enemy. Yeah, we need a helicopter strafing oh, ground. Sometimes the chopper will shoot without moving, but most of the times it will try and move. Driving! Driving! Also, all of my heavens are okay, yes, yes. I guess you can put down some mines, but usually when I try to put down the mines, they, they get smashed. Or they finish putting down the mines. Let's go! Going! Okay! But I guess you can do it once or twice for... Table. ATGM deployed. 
Oh, okay. This tank is amazing on this part of the road here. It could probably just defend everything if you need it. Alright, so this is a cartel Humvee, as you can see it has the armor upgrade, which is awesome. Oh, it has even a tow. Does this thing have enough tow? Yeah, it has enough tows. Nah, nothing can get past Big Bob over here. Oh, what's happening? Can destroy by what? On my way, on the move. Uh, sometimes this game is kind of a bad joke, as you can see. Moving there. Say something when we get there. What are the orders? A single. RPG squad can do so much damage. Good as you. They take my tank back. How is that even possible? It destroyed the gun two times. Ready for target. Oh, it was a recoilless. Look, look at this, look at this. This is what I don't like about the game. Look at this. How do you even react to a situation like this? It's basically firing almost the same caliber at us, but somehow they have much more... They had so much more accuracy than us. Yeah. We'll put them over there, just in case. ATGM squad, ATGM relocating. On a move. I guess we'll need the ATGM squad over here, to be honest. On our feet. On a move. Oh, they really are challenging me. Uh, that's okay, we'll be able to finish them at this point. Oh, that was just very unlucky the way that worked. As you can see that... That recoilless rifle, I guess the AI has, has a lot more control over its units than you have. There's no way you can manage to put your unit over here like the enemy can do it. So this truck is not safe here at all. Not even for one second. Let's go. Let's move. Reporting. Go. I'm also a bit worried about this tow over here. So let's put that in front. Anti-tank support. On our feet. Get us where we need it. Okay, you go over there. Drivers waiting on orders. Yes, sir. No, Got don't. Office. Don't Got step it. in front of the tow. Everywhere. We see him. Bomber has to Yes. Last in RPG. Activate this again. Yeah, it's so much micromanagement. I don't mind it. I mean, this is the perfect defense, except for very, very bad luck. Really? Want something blown up? RPGs moving. Reporting. Moving. Okay, this meant your infantry. Gladly. 
Infantry, we're moving. We need losing my team here. Find what cover. is fighting at them? Yeah, these snipers are also not fighting from the house. Got it. We'll do what's needed. Infantry squad, take cover, squad. Where's that? On it. They keep calm. As you can see, this mission itself is not hard, it's just that sometimes you'll have a little surprise on the corner of a map or two. Yeah. So the good Bradley over here with the squad near it, the tank can handle that on its own. You need more troops over here as you can see, you cannot just use your other... Oh, man, this guy's almost died. You cannot use just one or two vehicles over here, you need infantry as well. Nothing, just a lookout. Right in the air. Yeah, so it seems like the helicopter does have a lot of disadvantages. I'm also worried that maybe this guy can shoot the helicopter down with the artillery. It would be funny if that happened. Okay. Come back here. We got all of the trucks. Copper has eyes on them means there are some enemies over here. Okay. I keep forgetting to disable that one. Oh yeah, I was out of position because yeah. Infantry squad ready. Got him in our sight. <laughs> Peculiar. That's very again very strange. You are supposed to spread sir, out. Yes, Enemy incoming. Why are they not spread out? They have the formation for that. These guys are just distraction. If you can manage to focus down your squad enemies. By. Yes, Commander. Going for a headshot. We see them. They're swarming us. Hey. Target spotted. It's so easy to kill them with the snipers. The snipers actually work. Sharpshooters in trouble. I'm in trouble. Yeah, but the run away. Spotted one. Ooh, okay, this will be probably the hardest battle of this part of the map. Actually, no, because they will just use an ATGM. Where is the turret not on? They really need to fix this. Where is the turret looking at? Yeah. Shoot! Alright. Did you miss? I think he missed. Okay, let's deactivate the high explosive shell because again this is one of those expensive things that you don't want to waste. Ready? As you can see at this point of the game, even even yeah, ammunition management is needed. I already hear something flying towards them. I'm not sure what was fired at them. Yes, Commander. Also, let's check if it's true that we can decrew them with the snipers. I don't know. Again, I'm not quite too much. Oh, it's the Bradley. Yeah, this is why I put the Bradley over here because it's fighting at enemies coming from below. Here's our people now. Contact. Hey, cartel assholes. Meet T for us. Targets in range. Okay, this doesn't mean no the problem. attack is over, so be very, very careful. You can still lose a lot of soldiers in this last phase over here. Spotted them at range. More enemies. Got a fix on the enemy. Target sighted. Those are reporting. Enemy sighted. That's a lot of soldiers. Engage them, please. Right, she should be okay. Enemy 
Yeah, this is the last attack, I guess, so it has to be a little stronger than usual. Ah, oh, man, they should really make it prior. Well, they gave it their Get best. The <laughs> I guess the mission will be over once you kill the last little Cartel red. Got their yeah, see? Won't be hurrying back. We got that bridge and open up the fastest route to Chihuahua. We're done here, Sergeant. Senor, thank you. You saved us. Uh, those integrator weapons are yours. If you know how to use such strange things. Captured and held them cartel warehouses. Now we got maybe some units of extra resources for ourselves. That's not too much. It's one day of war. In Jose's house, there's some Supplies. kind of big gun. Maybe for it. Rodriguez has boxes hidden holding some kind of... And here there's this thing, but I don't know what it is. Don't worry, whatever it is. Yeah, I think that's the whole mission. Okay. Here where you need us. I'll be back when I don't think you can interact with these things. I mean I tried, but it doesn't work. We're going in. Moving. So we'll be back after I finish looting up all of the things, but I think we just got that cartel tank. The other stuff was smashed to pieces just because we have so much. Destructive force. Okay, we're back. So this is actually for the achievement. I use my helicopter to just fly all over the map. And as you can see here in the north corner of the map, you have a few vehicles. An APC and a Humvee. They have nothing special on them, as you can see. And you also get the achievement if you capture these vehicles. Other than that, you saw it. We captured... By the way, like I keep mentioning, that to little... Bug is annoying, so only the main soldier will switch their weapons out, so you cannot even take the other rifles, even though you have the space. This, this gun definitely looks different than the other ones. Okay, let's begin the big retreat then. We'll be waiting just for the APC. Well, I guess that's the annoying part. Also, how does the helicopter the exit the map? Please work. Please don't be anything weird. Okay, it was not, it was not something weird. Okay. That was not so bad. I guess the whole mission is easy it's, uh, on its own, but you just need to know how to defend, how to split up your forces, where the strongest attacks will come from. Where the most anti armor will come from. I guess most people will have a problem with this location because, as you saw, we almost got our squad, one squad defeated and one vehicle or two destroyed. Yeah, definitely not a fan of that. Oh wow, this thing is so slow. Sorry, I'll not be editing this out because I want to speak a little bit about the mission itself. Now, as you can see, if you, you probably have to destroy this, otherwise you don't have access to your heavy weapons like the tank or the heavy artillery, which was massive in this game. <laughs> the, artillery, the artillery was just pushing people around, so that's why I have two of them. I hope it will be as good as in, in as it was in this mission in other missions, because the artillery can basically cover the entire map, 155mm artillery. I think in real life it can hit up to 30 kilometers, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, something like that. Other than that, there's not much point in you putting anti-tank mines or anything over here because then, from where the enemy come from, you cannot really do much. When it says danger, that means the enemy can come from those sides. You can mine these two locations for sure, but not really worth it because you'll be caught with your pants down most of the times and you lose that squad. Okay, we're done. We are officially done. We didn't lose any vehicles, but we lost 15 soldiers. 30 minute mission, I guess you can do this a lot faster, but you want to do it safe, you won't wait for a the tank fight, to push. But worth it. Now on to Chihuahua. Got all those boxes of weapons those settlers were hiding. Some sweet stuff in there, I bet. Integrate attack. Yeah. Well, should we get the light plasma cannon and the heavy plasma cannon? I think I like the twin light plasma cannon, so you don't get the twin light plasma cannon, not even now. 
That's kind of a shame. Uh, do I want to put anything on this? No. Also, I think I'll keep one of the Bradleys with a normal gun. I guess I can give it the light plasma, to be honest. The range on this is 120, the range on this is 400, so... Yeah, you probably don't want that. As for the plasma machine gun, I guess not many units can use it at this point. But the member is dead. <laughs> Uh, oh well. Keep in mind that you can already do the supply over here. I guess I should have kept some soldiers with me to replace my losses, but... What is in Chihuahua? You can train squad, you can trade stuff, you can hire squads. Even though that has the icon, you cannot really do that over here. So I hope it lets us resupply in the next area. Okay, uh, let me see what I want to do. I guess the Humvees with the energy weapons were destructive enough. Yeah, I don't want to keep those. Let me look at this thing. So this has 100 range. This will have 100 range. Then it will be... Yeah. We'll have to change that and resupply it. Oh, that's so expensive. Man, they should really do something about this as well. As for the squads themselves, I guess... These guys, I could have given that rifle a little earlier. Who can use a machine gun and doesn't have a machine gun? 100. No, I, I want to keep these guys, the anti-infantry anti -infantry squad, with that one. I guess we can give this thing to these guys. Not that they needed the extra firepower. I guess we can give this one to the guerrillas. 50 range, 40 range. Yeah, let's give it so they are super deadly in combat. Yeah, okay. I guess that's enough. We can level them up. Did anyone level up? In I don't think anyone leveled up. You should also get a special message for that, probably. Oh, looks like you cannot level up over here, so that is very, very wrong. Let's continue. Wait, you still have three days to go? Oh, I guess you don't use that. Wait, you can go back? Hmm. But what would be the point? Oh! Oh, I get it now. So you can go back and resupply so you don't have to go. Okay. I guess that's a good thing as well. You can get another heavy holster. So this does resupply. I don't remember seeing this over here. Yeah. So they have new stuff for us. And you can also resupply. So don't go to the mission. I think... Oh, man. Some people will definitely make a lot of mistakes in this game. Yeah, this having that Humvee is too busted up to be usable. Uh, I think that's enough. I only need one supply truck. Sorry, APC, you're not too good enough in my opinion. And also, we have to sell one of these little tanks. They're not even that expensive. They are most more or less like a truck at this point. You can buy another helicopter. Why would you do that? That would be silly. I guess you can buy another artillery, which would make more sense than another helicopter. But yeah, they're just too expensive to use. I don't think we'll never need more than two of them. But remember, if you buy out all of the supplies beforehand, you don't really have anything to buy from here. Yeah, let's get the Bradley with the rotary cannon. But it's so expensive to replace the ammo. Do I want any other guns? I guess I can make another howitzer, but it's not not really worth it. Oh, you can have heavy platform armor? Really? I didn't even know this was a thing. You can also put the... Okay, so you can create another heavy platform howitzer. Triple seven. I want to call it like that. 
Okay, this is probably just me wasting time over here because I want to look at all of the stuff. Probably I don't need anything, honest. We're done with the mission itself. As you can see, we can go back to Novator Tuga. But from what I remember, there's something very weird about the next mission. So I have supplies for six days just because I think we might need to go over here and go back because this is an opportunity. So remember, this is an optional mission that is not really showcased as an optional mission. I don't know about you, but I think you can also land the helicopter to refuel and rearm it. I'm not sure about certain mechanics, but I definitely feel like we, sh we have much more supplies than we need for a reason. Who wants... Nobody wants that rifle? Well, I guess we can give it to some of the other grants we have. Anyway, I didn't do much to upgrade or do their skills because I just don't have enough supplies. So let's go to Chihuahua. You're here finally? Great. This is all of you- We're an advanced force. Small- uh, No need to go confusing the civilian with- Soon see how- Soon we- Okay, I just want to see what's next and what will happen and the next mission will begin from the- Beginning, I guess. <laughs> I think it's important that you save before every mission because sometimes you'll have a weird rule. For example, you cannot take more than X or you can only start the mission with X, Y. So let's just see what we need for the mission because I have a feeling we'll not be able to take everything with us. I, I might be right though. Yeah, this spell smells like one of those special missions where you have to wait a bunch or... Do something silly. Yeah. No. <clears throat> well, I guess this is all of the light vehicles we have. Well, I guess we can look at what's inside the mission itself. Definitely we're going to need the militias and both of my infantry squads for this. Okay, let's see how it looks. That's it? That's it. So what's the- Not much different from how we took them down- Engage in this- The most important thing is to seize the campus district. He's right. They hate- Heroes- We want to catch them with their pants down. Yes. Okay. Show- Oh, this- this- Hey, we'll need some- We had a big band of armed gringos incoming. Anyone we know? Attacking! Mercs. Scavengers. Uh, ah, these assholes look more like those movements. Got enemy fire on our position. Movement. Okay. Alerting our forces in the city. Complete. I'm glad we took a cartel right, radio morning, transponder sir. from New Tortuga. The move, they don't even know we could listen Ready in on them. Told you it was a good we idea. Can do that. Oh yeah. Spotted one. Got a fix on the enemy. If it's you are. Got a fix on the enemy. No one panic. Okay, so you start. Oh no, this is a huge map. So I guess we'll have to get. More and more forces as we pass through the missions. I I don't like this, but okay. Luis got a message through to us. Yes, they. This was all. Those barracks are where cartel reinforcements mobilize from. You need to capture them before they can overwhelm our forces. We need to take the cartel HQ. Decapitating strike troublemaker. Cut off the head of the snake to win this war. That's we know not how what it works. Cartel HQ is. Why don't we just? Whole city is ready to rise up. We show the people how it. Agreed. Yes, Moving. Yeah, I kind of agree with Mason. We shouldn't really play. We got inbound. Friendlies joining us. Enemies ahead. Yeah, now I understand what they're saying. You shouldn't really play like with the civilians. Catch up. Armor transport. Well, that's good. We can have my heavy carrier. That's only armor transport. Supply vehicles. Okay, light vehicles. Okay, so it's not so bad. It's not so bad. We'll see you next time. Bye.